Hi, this is Dr. Gary, and welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Today we're finishing another week, and next week is Thanksgiving. Can you believe it? And just one footnote, I looked in our archives for the tune-ups last night, and I couldn't believe it. We've done almost 500 of these programs. So I would love for you to be willing to share these tune-ups with someone if you think they can help. There's so many different subjects I've talked about. Some of the stuff was timely for the moment we recorded those tune-ups, but most of it's laced in kind of ancient wisdom and a lot of common sense in there that I think can help people if they haven't got the ability to go to a therapist or a counselor or a coach. And my intention with these is to share them with as many people as possible. They've virally marketed around the world right now so I'm proud of that and I thank all of you for being willing to share these with other people. The more the merrier, right? And just a footnote, we have a new program coming online starting December 12th called NeuroNuts. And my new co-host is Gabriel Stoll and there's a little interview and also kind of a precursor to that on the drgary.tv website if you would like to take a look at that. This program is going to be quite interesting and already the feedback we've got from just that trailer that's on the website, people are loving it and love what we're going to be talking about. Today, let's talk about doing some mental housekeeping. You know, we can talk about Occupy Oakland and Berkeley and New York and Bank of America, we can talk about changing America, we can talk about changing the face of the world. How do we do that? One of the things we have to do, first of all, is be willing to work on the space that's inside of our head rather than just everything that's outside of it. We can't sit and blame everyone for everything. We have to start taking responsibility for our thoughts, and also not only our thoughts, but also improving our life. And improving our life in a way that we become responsible, spiritual, and also conscious and conscientious of the things that we can do to make not only ourselves stronger, more self-reliant, and also more facilitative towards other people. It's time to cut the BS with blaming people and start looking at herself for a lot of the challenges and problems that are out here right now. Now there's a lot of things we're not in control of. In fact, just about everything, unless we all collectively together become conscientious and conscious and start focusing on what we want rather than what's happened in the past and what we don't want. You see, that's manifesting in the wrong direction. If you continue to focus on what you don't want and continue to put out anger and frustration and resentment, that energy alone is gonna attract more of that to us. What we have to do is calm down. We have to get focused and we have to pay attention. But each of you today, as we move into the weekend, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about what's going on inside of your head. If you're being terrorized by finances or maybe a past lover or a wife or a husband, or if you're being terrorized by raising your children because you just don't know how to do it, really call on a higher power, a higher source, and ask the universe and God to bring into you wisdom and knowledge on how to do that. It's there, and understand that that's the reason I'm here doing this right now with you. That wisdom and knowledge is there. Each week I have the privilege to work with many, many people in the things that they perceive as being problems in their life because they're unable to grasp what's going on in their life and fix it. And all I'm sharing with them is, is a little bit of balance and a little bit of objectivity focusing themselves back at themselves. By doing that, by looking at yourself in the mirror and really getting real with yourself and asking yourself, what am I really all about? And if there's something about you that you're not liking, the first thing you have to do is love yourself. I want you to start working on that. We're coming into Thanksgiving next week. And as we go into next week, the more loving, forgiving, caring, facilitative you are of yourself, the more you're going to have to give to someone else. And I tell you what, if you have children, that's a good lesson for them to learn. And the only way they're going to learn it is to have a great example. So until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary weekend. Thank you for all your support, and I really appreciate it. You have a great time this weekend. Bye-bye.